All right, Miss Hall. Who is Miss Hall? Who is Miss Hall? Miss Hall is a true educator. Not only does she advocate for herself and her rights, but she advocates for children. And she loves her daughter and her grandchildren. And that same intensity she brings here to Fairview. Miss Hall is a Fairview icon. Miss Hall is a cornerstone of Fairview Elementary. Miss Hall is the mother of Fairview. A long-standing member of the Fairview community, Fairview family. After all the years that she's been here, she's a rock. You either love her or you hate her because she is most definitely a character. Um, she's been here as long. Look longer than I've been here. Of course, she's been here ever since I've been here. She's one of the pillars of the school. She's been here um, most of her teaching career. She was here before I came, and I thought she'd be here after I was gone. As a new teacher at Fairview, if I had a problem, I would always go to this hall and discuss things with her and get her opinion and her advice. When I first came here, she taught the older kids. I think it was sixth grade. And uh, she did very well there. And now with the with the babies, with the kindergartners, still just a spirit of excellence in everything that she does. She is just a whirlwind around here. When I think of Foundation of Fairview, I think of Miss Hall as one of the people who've been here the longest. Miss Hall to Fairview is our very own Moses. Miss Hall is like a Moses. She's Moses because Miss Hall is very determined. She has always led us in the direction that we should go. If people don't know, Ms. Hall won a landmark case, and that case will help teachers in the future. It'll help teachers advocate for themselves. She stood up for herself when everybody else probably thought she wouldn't succeed in her endeavor, and she did. She tackles new frontiers for herself and for her fellow colleagues, and she is definitely a mentor to everyone. She's always been a role model, and she is a person that directs and likes um, guiding not only the students, but just a uh, person that's unspeakable. I mean, there's no words that can describe this Hall. Okay. That's going to be my next question. What is one word <laughs> that describes Miss Hall? You know, I thought about that, and I think fighter. One word to describe Miss Hall would be maverick. She's got a strong spirit about her. And uh, she stands up for what she believes. And uh, I would say fighter. She blazes the trail. And she always has. What's one word that describes Ms. Hall? Ms. Hall. Oh, uh, efficient. Uh, dedicated. She loves her job. And she loves what she does. One word I could definitely use to describe Ms. Hall is sass. I always tease Miss Hall about her sassy walk and the way she looks over her glasses. The word that brings to my mind when I think of Miss Hall is determined. Dedicated. Dedicated to her students, dedicated to Jennings, um, always willing to help, um, dedicated to other staff members, always been a great friend. So if I had to pick a word, dedicated would be definitely the word. Um, one word to describe Miss Hall, I love you, and we all are, is a hoarder. We're teacher hoarders. We have all kind of stuff from, from ever ago. Miss Hall has always been our decorator in the district. Creative. That lady can take a piece of paper and make anything out of it, a piece of cloth, and sew anything together. Very creative. The mother of creativity, the mother of organization, and the mother of, okay, Miss Hall, what I need is, and Miss Hall will have it. A lot of what she does in her classroom is just like a work of art. If you've ever been to Miss Hall's room, you have been to education. Um, she's always spent a lot of time putting her room together so that it's not only um, great learning environment for the kids, but it's very uh, decorative, very appealing, very colorful. Because Miss Hall fills every inch of her room with learning possibilities. What is your fondest memory of Miss Hall? My fondest memory of Miss Hall is when we first met. Um, when I first met Miss Hall, we met when I worked in the Wellston School District, and she did too. 
and um, she resembled my late mother and that's how we started our friendship. We talked with one another and uh, I shared with her why I felt the connection to her and um, she explained to me what she was doing in Wilson and that's how I found out about the case that she had against the Jenny School District and I was just in shock and awe that somebody would take it upon themselves to stand up and stand uh, out about something so vocal. Um, as a teacher, you often feel like you can never go against the grain. And that's how we became friends because I was just um, respected so much what she had accomplished. And I met her again, she came back into my life when I became employed with Jenny School District. And uh, that's how I found out, one, she had won her case, and two, um, was very happy to have her back in my life. What is your fondest memory, Ms. Hall? The 100th day, the first time I celebrated the 100th day with her in kindergarten team. She came in, I think, with a 100 bows sewed all over her overalls. I was just, wow, taken back at the creativity that it took to get that done, and I admired that so much. My fondest memory of Ms. Hall, yes, there would be so many. Ms. Hall and I kind of got to know each other a bit better a couple of years ago, so just spending time with Miss Hall. Um, she's funny. She's if you ever spend some miss some time with Miss Hall, just in general, she's just a funny person. She says funny things all the time. So I would have several memories of her just being hilarious. I started at Fairview about 15 years ago, and uh, when we first met, Miss Hall um, I thought I was one of the students. And one of the first things that she said to me was, who, who is this little girl with these kids in the classroom? And I was quite taken aback by that statement, but we've been close ever since. <laughs> oh, let's see, the fondest memory of Miss Hall, it would be in 1996, when Miss Hall and Miss Atkinson entered the office and a mouse came across the floor and her and Miss Atkinson got on top of little Shirley's desk. That is the funniest memory I can remember. And it was funny. <laughs> My fondest memory of Miss um, Hall is um, last year when she when we were on the same team and we would share lunches. We would go to lunch and sit at the teacher table together and it would be fun talking to her and she would ask me what I cooked and I'd tell her what I cooked and she'll tell me what she cooked and I like the fact that she has everything you would possibly need in her lunch bag. She got condiments, she got knives and pork, she got salt and pepper, she got everything you need in her lunch bag. So I, I miss having lunch uh, with her. Well, if I can tell this without getting in trouble, it would be the times that Mr. Hall and I would sit in the hall and uh, talk when our children were on a restroom break, bathroom break. Um, we had been told by Mrs. Hardy that we could not sit in the hall and talk during bathroom breaks, but we would sneak and do it anyway. Don't you guys tell me? What is your fondest memory with Ms. Hall? Um. I have lots of them because I've been in the building 28 years myself, so I've been with Miss Hall a long time. Um, probably the fondest memory I have um, when I left fourth grade and I came down to first grade with her. Um, I had been a fourth grade teacher all of my career, and when I came down to the first grade level, I was five months pregnant and she helped me get through that first year because the transition going from fourth grade to first grade was like a big eye-opener. I thought I had made a mistake. Um, she was able to help me survive and I continue to really like being in first grade. Um, we survived having 30, 31 children in the classroom. We survived no air conditioning. Uh, the heat went out at one point, so we had space heaters with first graders in a classroom, um, so probably my fondest memory is that year that I transitioned down from fourth down to first. What do you recall your fondest memory with Ms. Albion? You know, that was just recently. I went to the retirement dinner that they had on Monday night, and uh, she was one of the one of the honorees that they were honoring. And she got up and uh, she read this letter from this kindergartner, our 
kindergartner student, probably not a kindergartner, she probably wasn't teaching kindergarten then, but anyway, a previous student um, that she had, and this, this student absolutely loved Miss Hall and remembered everything that she did for her, and um, I think she even went into teaching, and uh, when we can do that, when we can have such an influence on our kids, you know, this is more than just a job. We shape lives, and uh, it was an honor serving with her, because that's what we do. We serve. And uh, yeah, when we can do that for our kids and make a difference in their lives, that's what it's really all about. So as Ms. Hall prepares to retire, what are some words that you have for her? Ms. Hall, enjoy your time. Travel, be peaceful, relax, do what you want to do now. And always remember, you got all time in the world to do anything you want to do and let go of that gardening stuff girl and go on out there and see the world okay <laughs> peace take care and enjoy i want you miss hall to enjoy your retirement but i know you don't really know how to retire so um have fun with whatever you do whatever direction you go i want you to rest but i know you can't sit still so whatever you do i know you're gonna do it well do you have any, you know, um, I guess words of encouragement as she prepares to retire? Um, just to know that, you know, she's touched so many lives, you know, many jobs, you know, when people retire they can say, well, you know, I can look back at my career and the people I knew, but not only that, of all the personnel, all the staff she's worked with, but all the children's lives that she's touched. Um, whether it be kindergartners, first graders, she's had the pleasure of seeing some parents come back with their children and to know that, you know, you reach children every year and then that um, love spreads to the families that they have and they cared so much about the district and the, the area that they stayed and so she was able to touch not only the parents but the children and their children. As she prepares to retire, what are some words that you have for her? Well, same thing, Monday night I got to see her grandbabies. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful grandbabies. And that's what she's gonna go do. She's gonna go and help take care of them. Her daughter's a police officer. She's got a lot on her mind. And uh, just to know that mom's got them babies and taking care of them babies and she ain't got to worry about that, just go ahead and focus on this crazy world that we live in, I think that's gonna be a blessing to the whole family. And Miss Hall is a blessing. And uh, we're gonna miss her around here. Just miss her, just miss her, her presence. Sit down, Miss Hall, and retire. Do not go back into the classroom. She's promised that she's going to walk, she's going to take vacations, she's not going to go into the classroom for like six months. So Miss Hall, we're holding that, um, holding you to that. She's going to spend time with her grandkids. Um, you can stop by and visit us, but just take some Donna time. As she prepares to retire, one thing I can say is just always put the Lord first in your life. Um, in everything that you do, seek Him first. Uh, spend time with your uh, grandchildren. Uh, spend time with your family and enjoy life and just enjoy it to the fullest. Ms. Hall, as you prepare to retire, I want you to take a deep breath. I know you might be overwhelmed with emotion. Um, I know you're going to miss laminating and cutting and coloring and decorating so you're most definitely welcome to come back and do all of those things for me but make sure that you take some time to travel relax pamper yourself and last but not least spoil those grandbabies some words of encouragement as she moves into retirement which she's not going to really retire we just won't see her in the classroom with the kids every day because once a teacher, always a teacher, and we've talked, and I know, you know, she has some things in the work, so just, you know, have fun and relax and doing whatever it is that you're going to do. Rest, relax, and enjoy your time. Just enjoy life and sightsee, get out, do some things, but enjoy life the most. Your grandbabies, your kids, and visit a little bit, us too. Thank you. Miss Hall, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being uh, an inspiration to me. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for, 
lifted me up. Thank you for listening. Thank you for bringing me McDonald's in the morning. And thank you for all the years that you have uh, spent enriching children's lives. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being someone that I could come and speak to when I needed to talk. Thank you for being someone who kept all of my secrets and I never heard anything said that I had come and talked to you about. Thank you and know I love you and know I will miss you dearly as a teacher and family. Thank you, Ms. Hall, for being not only a wonderful teacher but a friend to me. Thank you for being such a great friend and for being the kind of person you can go to and talk to and know that um, it would stay between her and I or being a problem solver. Um, thank you for all the things that you've done for me over the years. Um, it's been great working with you and I hope that you do come back and see us. Um, we will definitely miss you. Thank you Ms. Hall for giving me creative ideas through the years. Thank you for showing me when I was a new teacher how to stand up for my rights and be a part of things and speaking out. I think I learned a lot by watching you go through things and watching you weather through things and standing strong. I think I'm a stronger teacher because of that and watching you go through those things. Enjoy the next journey of your life. Thank you, Ms. Hall. I love you, you already know that. Thank you to your mother, your grandkids, and Kelly for sharing you with us and um, this is not a goodbye. This is until I see you again. All right, goodbye. Thank you so much, Ms. Hall, for everything, for the advice, for the extra hugs, for anything that I might have run down at the last minute and asked you to get. Um, thank you for the words of encouragement and thank you for your incredible service to these kids. We love you.